It's Sean here from The Different Design, and I'm gonna show you 10 ways to use Nano Banana Pro in the architectural design process. First, let's look at some ways we can use Nano Banana Pro for master planning right at the beginning of the architectural design process. Workflow number one, create a figure ground site plan from a satellite image. This workflow saves you an enormous amount of time tracing buildings and tells you a lot about the density of a site and the types of buildings in a specific location. Once complete, you could easily take this image and convert it into a vector format in an external graphics software. To do this, first open Google Maps satellite view and take a screenshot of the urban surroundings of your site. My site is an urban area in West Berlin. Copy this screenshot and paste it into Nano Banana Pro. Prompt Nano Banana to turn this image into a figure ground plan, colorizing buildings in black and leaving all other elements white. Nano Banana Pro is then able to quickly output your figure ground plan. Workflow number two, take a 3D screenshot of a Google Maps satellite image and instantly convert it into the base for a 3D site diagram. This workflow saves time setting up a fully 3D site model so you can better understand the height and density of the surrounding buildings near the site. Back in our Google Maps satellite view of Berlin, swap to a 3D view and take a screenshot of the urban surroundings of your site. Copy this screenshot and paste it into Nano Banana Pro. Prompt Nano Banana to turn this image into a 3D architectural site diagram, specifying the colors and style you want in the output image. You can also copy in an existing site diagram as a style reference to match. Nano Banana Pro will then output a 3D diagrammatic image based on the screenshot. Next, let's look at some ways we can use Nano Banana Pro for site analysis. Workflow number three, create photographs from different angles of your site. This workflow helps you create a set of clean site photos in case you're unable to access your site or needed a photo from a different angle on your site. It also saves time in cleaning up some of the messy parts of Google Street View in case you want to use these images later for visualization. First, locate your site in Google Street View and take a screenshot. My site is in the Melbourne CBD in Australia. Copy this screenshot to Nano Banana Pro and clean up some of the distractions such as cars or people. Prompt Nano Banana to create another viewpoint of the site with an angle rotation of up to 30 degrees. It will create a new perspective of your site. You can also ask it to take an elevated view of your site as if you were in a taller building across the street. Workflow number four. Create a textural mood board of your site based on latitude and longitude coordinates. This workflow helps you quickly evaluate and contextualize some of the material information about your site, which can then be used to inform the design response of your architectural outcome. In Google Maps, navigate to your site. Mine is in this location in the city of Melbourne, Australia. Click on the location of your site once and the coordinates will appear at the bottom of screen. Click on these coordinates and copy their values. In Nano Banana Pro, paste the coordinates and prompt the creation of a textural mood board of the buildings and streets around this location. Nano Banana Pro will create a collage of images related to the coordinates you have input. These textural images are highly related to the gritty and grungy material you'd find around this area in Melbourne. As a second experiment, let's replicate this workflow, but this time in Dubai. This time, we get a collage of images related directly to the sleeker and more golden tones of Dubai. After your site analysis, you'll move to concept design, and there are some great ways you can use Nano Banana Pro to develop your concept. Workflow number five. Create spatial sections from an interior photograph. Nano Banana Pro lets us create sections from a photograph of an architectural building. In concept design, this could be a great way to better understand the spatial quality of some of our precedent images and how they relate to their surrounding spaces. Let's create a section from this photograph of the Guggenheim by Frank Lloyd Wright in the style of the spatial sections created by Paul Rudolph. Paul Rudolph creates amazingly detailed sections of drawings that tell you an incredible amount of detail about the spatial qualities of the interior buildings. First, copy both the Guggenheim photograph and the Paul Rudolph section into Nano Banana. Then, ask Nano Banana to create a section of the photograph referencing the style of Paul Rudolph's drawings. The output section won't be a perfect copy of the Guggenheim, but it's a great way to better understand how the void and ramp work cohesively in the space with some of the other architectural elements. We could also try the same approach with a more contemporary and geometrically complex building. Let's use the theatre space inside Zaha Hadid's Haydar Aliyev Centre. Again, let's ask Nano Banana to create a section of the photograph, referencing the style of Paul Rudolph's drawings. 
and we get an image that starts to help us better understand the photograph of our precedent image. Workflow number six, turn a bubble diagram into a floor plan. If you're an old school sketcher, Native Banana Pro is the perfect tool for you. This workflow shows how you can quickly jump from a spatial bubble diagram into a stylistic floor plan with Nano Banana Pro. This saves you an enormous amount of translation time and lets you start working at real scale earlier in the design process. First, let's copy a bubble diagram into Nano Banana Pro. Next, let's ask it to translate our bubble diagram into a floor plan with walls, doors, windows, and room labels. This has created a bit of an ugly floor plan for me, so I'm gonna ask Nano Banana Pro to copy the style of this floor plan as a reference. This is looking a lot better, but the labels are feeling a little jarring to me, so let's ask Nano Banana Pro to remove these and replace them with CAD blocks that match the labels. Not only is Nano Banana Pro able to create a stylistic floor plan of our bubble diagram, it's also able to recognize the room labels and replace them with relevant CAD blocks. To further refine and develop your concept, you can use Nano Banana Pro in a number of ways during the design development phase of your project. Workflow number seven. Turn your sketches into photographs. I've worked with some incredible architectural sketches in my design career. I recently came across these sketches by Mahmoud Kamel at IDA, who has an incredible skill of translating his design ideas quickly into a conceptual idea. Previously, the next step to realize these ideas would have been a tedious 3D modeling and rendering exercise to test these sketches on site. Nano Banana Pro lets us immediately translate these sketches into a realistic photograph of an architectural building. Let's begin with this first sketch of a commercial office building in a public plaza by Mahmood. We can ask Nano Banana Pro to turn this sketch into a realistic photograph and it's able to convert this sketch into a photograph with realistic materiality, lighting, and shadows, whilst remaining true to the original sketch. Let's try this workflow again with another of Mahmood's sketches, this time of this resort. Nano Banana is again able to complete a highly realistic translation of the sketch. If you're a sketcher, Nano Banana Pro is going to change the way you work and open up a number of possibilities and workflows that were previously enormous barriers to quickly test your ideas. Workflow number eight. Change a building's facade based on a reference facade. This is perhaps one of the most powerful Nano Banana Pro workflows as it allows you to quickly test and iterate different facade styles in the design development phase of your project. This workflow lets you take an existing image of an architectural building and replace its facade entirely with a reference image. Let's start with this photograph of a building we created from a mud sketch. I want to test this type of slatted window bay facade on the building. If I copy these two images into Nano Banana Pro and ask it to replace the glass facade with this new facade, Nano Banana Pro will directly apply this new facade all over the building without adjusting any of the other elements. It's even great at maintaining the base form and dealing with adjustments in the roof line. Let's try this again with a more porous concrete facade system. Again, Nano Banana Pro is able to convert our facade into this new style. This allows us to rapidly iterate the type of facade we might want on our building. Once you've fleshed out the design for your architectural outcome, you can use Nano Banana Pro for the visualization and final production of your project. Workflow number nine, turn a 3D model into an architectural visualization. Setting up visualization of an architectural 3D model can be a tedious process. You need to set up camera angles, get the correct lighting, map the materials on the building, curate assets like trees, cars, people, and vegetation, and usually apply a lot of post-processing to finalize the visualization. This workflow cuts all of that out and lets you create a visualization directly from a screenshot of your 3D model. On my screen, I have a 3D model of Herzog de Meuron's Parish Museum building. It's a raw and crude view of the building in model space only. If I take a screenshot of this and copy it into Nano Banana Pro, I can ask it to transform this screenshot into a realistic 3D model. I will also specify the types of materials I would like to be applied in the final image. Nano Banana Pro is then able to translate this screenshot into a realistic visualization of my 3D model sitting in a green landscape. Workflow number 10. Add context to your image through sketching. Once you have a visualization of your building set up, it can be a time consuming process to adjust the environmental context and add details such as trees, plants, rocks, and paths. Traditionally, you would need to either manually add these in a photo editing software or physically add these assets to your 3D modeling scene. 
You can skip this process by using Nano Banana Pro to sketch over your base image and ask it to incorporate this detail automatically. Let's start with this image of our building. I've sketched some red lines indicating a tree line I would like added to the scene. I can copy this over to Nano Banana Pro and ask it to add trees in place of these sketches. Next, let's sketch the outline for a new pathway in blue. Nano Banana Pro can then infill this area and create a new pathway for us. The landscape is a bit bare and I'd like to add some more texture, so I've sketched some shapes in pink that will indicate where I would like some rocks placed. And Nano Banana Pro is able to incorporate rocks into the landscape of this image. Lastly, I'm looking for a bit more of a farmyard countryside vibe. Without sketching, I'm going to now ask Nano Banana Pro to increase the height of the grass so it's looking overgrown and thin. And in almost no time, we're able to transform our image from this to this. This video is part of a longer course on the different design, so if you enjoyed it and you want to learn more ways to use Nano Banana Pro, sign up for an account on thedifferentdesign.com today. Here's an extra bonus workflow for you. Change the style of an image to match a reference image. Often as architects, we want to be able to visualise our designs at different times of the day under different environmental conditions and during different seasons. This can take a lot of time to set up in either a rendering scene or in a photo editing software. Nano Banana Pro can cut a lot of this time out by matching our images to the atmosphere of a reference image. Here's my base image. And here's an image by one of my favourite visualisation designers, Mir, spelled M-I-R. I can copy these both to Nano Banana Pro and ask it to change the atmosphere of my base image to match the image by Mir. And we're able to replicate the lighting, some of these foggy effects, and the warm nature of the Mir image in no time at all. Here's another image by Mir that I really love, which is taken at dusk and has contrasting winter colours against a setting sun and artificial light. Nano Banana is able to apply this directly to our scene, including the environmental effects like the snow and the artificial lighting. It's even able to strip the trees of leaves just like they would appear in winter. Thanks for watching this Nano Banana Pro course for architects. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel by pressing the subscribe button at the bottom right of the screen.